check this place out. It's a beautiful Saturday and with the Hall of Fame. This is part two of the road trip vlog here. And I cannot wait to have a lot of fun. As you can see the windows, you got Glory Road. I cannot wait to come in here. So we're, at, we're gonna check it out. Now this is the evolution of the six generations. Like you can feel these steering wheels. Like, oh my God. Wow, these things are sick. We got this. We got a kill switch. Oh my gosh, these things are so sweet. And now all the way over there, you got you got a Q and A going on. Hey Dad, right now we're going we're kind of going up the banking. Cool. You know, some of the earliest memories I have of Carino like that. Nice. Hold it to Charlie. You know, the highway after dark to work in Greg's and things like that. I was little. I don't know if anyone knows that. But that's what they were doing. You know, I said earlier, I remember in 95, they were. There he is, the king. You know, they had yeah, come here. You can feel the asphalt. Yeah. Feel it. That's, that's Pocono right there. Wow. Yeah. When they resurfaced it, did they cut into pieces, sell chunks of it? That's what I'm guessing. As things like that happen, even as the tractor trailers, you know, the transporters became to have a lounge and appear as they are now, you know, we got to see all of that happen. Or, you know, you didn't pull it this on is open eight trailer, degree. You know, with the conversion van, and, you know, you actually brought people to the track. Um, you know, with the like instead of four you know, I mean, I have all those memories. You know, Why won't they feel it? Like so just even the security. I gotta feel car, that. You know, you can just drive it. You know, so, <laughs> you know, you good. You know, before you even yeah. get to, uh, to how the cars have changed, which That's I think, Dad, you know, come up here. You're going up a banking right now. Wait till you feel that banking tomorrow, buddy. Yeah. You're going to make your butt fucker. You know, the roll and driving, what happens in this park now, and, and the, you know, the sand grows in the presence, and, um, you know, for me, knowing <laughs> where it was in 1983, to, to 2003 when I started, to 2014 is, uh, um, it's, it's a culture change. And as I look back, as my wow, it feels, that feels smooth. Um, you guys are gonna use white chips. You get something that's pretty impressive. Definitely. You see that, you know, just how much it's been a part of my sports history. I want to feel Michigan. Hang on, I'm feeling Michigan right now. You got my phone. Ah, oh, there he is, that's my guy. Man, that's a really good question. I've, I've never been sick uh, before a race, so cross my fingers, but it hasn't happened to me yet. Um, Texas, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Hey, look. I've been pretty lucky. So I'm feeling out the track where I am. Go from this to the cot. Come back. This can Bristol. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, if you can do that, I mean, yeah. Unless you're 
I just don't see how. I'm about to stand on 33 degree yeah, banking. Like I said, I'm just trying to be in here. You're good to go. Holy crap. Yeah, oh my I'm gosh. Take a picture of him. I'm on the top of the yeah, world. So, like they say all the time, you hear drivers and, and other crew members say, oh, the best medicine for race car drivers actually get into race car. Is that, is that the truth? Yeah. I uh, you know, I've been to a race car a lot of times. This is like Bristol. No, wait, 36 degrees is Bristol. What's Charlotte? I have no idea. It's in like the mid 18s, I think. What? But it was a survival night. Hi, Joey. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. Can I get a photo with you? Yeah. All right. Thanks. Alright, thanks. Are you, are you racing tonight? Uh, no, we raced last night. Oh, okay. Good job in the race last night, though. Hi, Chad. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Can I get a photo with you? Yep. She can come on the other side if she wants to get closer. Oh, no, that's okay. All right. How'd you do last night? Uh, we were running 16th and blew right front. So. Ah, that stinks. Hi Ryan. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. How'd you coming up? Not much. Uh, how'd you do last night? Not so good. We uh. Did you get in that rack? No, we we missed the race for the first time this year. Ah, so that, that was, stinks. Yeah, it was not fun. All your friends were in there. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! Everybody I know was wrecked. <laughs> Thanks, man. Right, thank you. We're trying to come back. We're just gonna go. Get a hand Hi Dakota. Not much. Good. Congrats on the 16th place place finish last night. Yeah, thank you. I was hoping we'd be a little better. I'm getting out of the child's birthday party. But, yeah. When, uh, when I heard that Ambrose left the team, I was expecting you to get the cup ride for next year. Uh, we're, we're still still trying to learn in the nation what I do. Uh, so don't move up too quick. But no, that's good. I think yeah. Sam's going to be, he's going to help us out a lot. Uh huh. So, yeah. That's good. I do. Just believe it. I just believe it. I just believe it. I just believe it. I just Oh yeah, I don't know. Did you sign this? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yes, right there. Oh, okay, thanks. Hi Jeremy. Hey, buddy. How are you? Doing good. What's your name? My name's Thanks, man. I couldn't, I couldn't hear you good. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. There you go. Oh. 
Thanks. How'd you do last night? Uh, I, I got involved in that wreck and uh, I had to run around in the 22nd. Uh, I should have finished about 14th, 15th. How's it feel to be in those racks anyway? It feels great. It's yeah. a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I, I love it. It's frustrating when stuff like that happens. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Eric. How's it going, man? Going good. Good. Is that a camera? Uh, yeah, GoPro. We're recording right now. That is awesome. I'm going to YouTube it. Are you? Yep. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you should see what Kenny did last, like two, last year. He like pulled, put his gum out to the camera. I don't. Ken, Kenny's the Kenny's the only older person than me that can get away with being immature uh -huh. as well. Yeah. So Send us there you go. I'm just kidding, Kenny. You're awesome. Yeah. There Thanks, you man. Go. Thank you, man. How you doing, man? Hi, Blake. How are you? Good. Yes. Thanks, man. How'd you do last night? Uh, I did race last night. I raced oh. that. Uh, oh, okay. Good luck tonight, though. Yeah. But I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Race week. This is what everybody goes to beyond the race. It's like the big flow everybody wants to be. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I need to scan this, I think. Hang on, hang on. I'm hang on. Hang on. Hey, Dad. Dad. Let's go in it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is sick. You gotta I wish that microwave worked kind of. Look at this. Look at this. I know this is where they uh relax. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been in the Hunches Racing Hall for Snow Cross, Mom, I know what it feels like. Um, I don't know. Alright, uh, yep, you can do that. Did you see the shock thing? The thing that holds the shocks? Oh, wow, you're right, that is. Spare engine is in here. Is that a. Sp I wish. That That's we where they keep the spare engine. I wish we could walk through, the, through every single thing. I'm on, I was on 16. Yeah, yeah, on the other side. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay, guys, first thing I want to do. Here you go. First thing I want to do is get you guys 
seat. Reach down underneath your seat. In between your knees, you'll feel a metal bar to adjust your seat back and forth. Make yourself comfortable. Look at your steering wheel. Make sure the colored piece of tape is on the top in the 12 o'clock position. And if you don't see your name on the screen, please stick your arm high out the window and let me know. Okay, guys, please follow my directions, please. For those of you who haven't done it before, you don't want to wreck anyone on the pace lap. If you do, you'll ruin their race. Here we go. Drivers, start your engines, please. Everyone put down on your gas pedal. One time, to the floor, then put your foot off the gas and put it on the brake. Get road closed. With your foot on the brake, pull the right shifter paddle two times. That'll put your car in second gear. And when the car in front of you moves, push down easy on the gas and let's play follow the leader. Here we go. Everyone should be moving now, following the car in front of you. Nice and easy, guys. Remember, it's a race car, not a minivan. You don't have to push down hard to make it go fast. Don't change lanes, don't tailgate. If you're on the inside, stay low next to that solid white line. If you're on the outside, stay high next to slow down. Okay, guys, slow down. Don't hit the car in front of you. Give each other plenty of room. Jimmy Johnson's not out there on the track. It's not going to help you. Thank <laughs> you. 
something bad or complain about something but everything's been great. I know but it's an exciting first year it's like a new chapter in your life right? Well are you saying it's gonna get worse? Yes. <laughs> no it's gonna get better. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I feel like my friends are like so how's it been? You're just waiting on me to say something bad. Like, As of yet I don't have anything bad to say so I'll call you I'll call you back when there is. <laughs> All right well that's just an example. We have the fans right here I gotta say the NASCAR fans are the best out of all of the sports. That's right. What's your favorite part about getting a chance to come and kind of meet them and interact with them? Well, you guys are big on Twitter too. Yeah, we've been doing that all day. We were at the uh, Walmart over there in Food Lion, and you know the good thing about our sport is, yeah, it's easy to attract people that don't really know anything about racing. I have a ton of my friends who don't have a clue about it, and uh, once I brought them to a race, and I'm sure you guys would bring brought friends and family members who've never been. They kind of start to like it and start watching it. And, um, I got friends who, like I said, don't know anything about it. I'll talk to them a month or two later, and all of a sudden they start asking me questions of, about stuff that they learned on their own. So I just think it's uh, you know it's addicting kind of to, to start learning more about it. Whether you're a, a male or a female, it seems like the uh, fan base is getting pretty even now. So uh, just the uh, the stuff that you see at the racetrack and actually going to a race, you see a lot of stuff that you don't have. To